Okay, our home place is west. We're out here in the front yard. There's a... Um, right down there is a um, fire hydrant. This is our meter in the parkway between the sidewalk and the curb where it's supposed to be. It's an electronic meter. Um, so I just let it sit here for a while. And it hasn't moved. It hasn't changed. I have a still image of that. Now this right here, that's the main water shutoff valve to the entire system. It doesn't belong to you. Okay, we passed the water meter test. That belongs to the municipality. That's why they have those little loops. You put those little ears together and you put a padlock in there. It turns off all the water to the system. The city, municipality, water company, utility company, call it what you like. Um, vendors, um, they own the meter. They own that. Anything past the meter belongs to you. What we're looking for is the main shutoff valve for the rest of the house. Besides that, you shouldn't have to have a special tool to do that. Leave it right there. So, a couple other places that I usually find main water shutoff valves are in the garage and in the laundry. I found them other places. We're just kind of looking here inquiring minds wanting to know and those kinds of things i can't get behind the refrigerator looks like there's some kind of a door right here nope it's a picture frame there's some kind of furniture excuse me sometimes it's on the wall i kind of know what i'm looking for I didn't spend a lot of time in the laundry. And I just do not see a main water shutoff valve. This is the thermostat for the water heater. That's the fan. There you go. So not a lot of not a lot of real progress here. Got our water meter out there. We're moving on along. See things mixed up. This is the closest bib faucet to the exterior. And as luck would have it, I have discovered that I've got a malfunctioning pressure gauge so I have reset zero so I'm not looking for more than 100 psi but it's almost 40 right now so we're looking at no more than 140 psi I promise I'll get another one later so it's about 45 psi is what I'm reading here that's a that's a good guess through that. So some water coming in the house. I still see a main water shutoff valve. There's the water heater. We're going to have a whole water heater video about this. While we're here, this is where the gas on the south side of the house, this is where the gas enters the house. I don't see a bonding wire on this and I'll tell you a secret that the bonding is not required but it's probably going to be on the furnace. Sewers. You know what? I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So the main sewer cleanouts are over here. You got double clean out. And you got this open stack that's got moisture in it. And this looks like it would be the drain for the main drain for the swimming pool. Looks like the main drain would candy cane out of here. And go into the, this clean out. So, without this, I have an incomplete or I do not have a main swimming pool drain. So, that's the main clean outs. So, 
the gas enters the house, picking up our spares now. Coming along, this is the lawn sprinkler system. This is the check valve. They're supposed to be serviced every year. Nobody does that. Okay. These are the ice. I mean, you're supposed to do it. Just because nobody does every, If everybody jumped off a bridge, you wouldn't jump off a bridge. These are the isolation valves. You can isolate it and you can service the check valve. Now, this pipe goes to... These are regular type you know, zones, if you will, stations. What we do not have is a main water shutoff valve to the whole lawn sprinkler system. You can turn this off and service the valve, but you can't replace this valve by turning this off because this comes with it. So you need a main shutoff valve to the lawn sprinkler system. And in seven years, I'm kind of thinking that probably might have been required at the time. Older houses, not so much. Another thing with the lawn sprinkler system that I'm noticing is I do not see a weather sensor. Maybe the roof has been replaced. A lot of times when the roof is replaced, they roofers rip off the lawn sprinkler systems. It might be inside the fence. So if I find it later, it'll be in the report. I will include a picture. Inside the garage, inside the garage south interior wall, this is the zones and the stations. I don't see, and nor is it required, but I don't see a map of the zones. In fact, what I do see is instructions for a weather sensor. I see a receiver for a weather sensor. I don't see a weather sensor. And we got them labeled. These can be hand labeled. And I just do this manually. So I'll go around to manual start, station one, hold to start. It's number one, that's front flower bed. That's how we do it. And that's a zone. We can hear it. We can hear pressure. Oh no, we got heads. Look at there. You spray in the house? Yeah, you're not supposed to be spraying the house, buddy. I heard some noise over here too. No? Just my imagination? No? I hear it. You got a clogged head over here or something. You can definitely hear it. Like, 